nice place. Nice place for an Amityville horror sequel, anyway. You know, I can't believe I actually let you drag me out to this house. Yeah? Well, what else would you have done tonight? Maybe I would have read a good book. Who knows? I actually would have rather gone to a bar. It's like we're the first to show up. Well, I don't like this too much. Well, I think you're being silly. I mean, look at this. This is going to be a blast. We're partying down at the old haunted house. Yippee! What were you talking about earlier today? Something about Elizabeth? Mm. Well, I was in grade school with her. I don't remember her too well back then, except for the fact that she was really spooky. Well, she sure ain't that anymore. I give you Exhibit A, Witch House. gets pissed off because we walked into her house. And maybe she'll turn us into frogs. Funny asshole. <laughs> How the hell should I know? Let's just go in. Wow, she really went all out. How do you know this isn't the way her place always looks? Remember that promise? That we'd go to the hurricane if this turned out bad? Honey, we'll go in a sec, okay? Uh -huh. Elizabeth? Lizzie? It's Bob and Margaret. We're here for the party? Never seen Charlotte. We show up and no party. Ha ha. Well, we really look stupid. Let's split. Hold on, there's a light coming from here. Let's check it out. Dickhead, because I'm about to claw your eyes out. I wasn't trying to scare you, okay? Honey, you gotta check this basement out. It's wild. Okay, let's see the basement. more of Elizabeth's party favors, because if it isn't, she's got some serious problems to deal with. Honey, remember when I told you I always wanted to do it in the graveyard? And remember when I called you a sick freak when you did? Well, we could do it here instead. Bob, what if Elizabeth or somebody else finds us? Are you insane? No. It's very, very horny. Okay, you big goofball. But you owe me if we do this. I'll take you to the new Meg Ryan movie. Mm -hmm. I know you like Meg Ryan.
I'm excited. I mean, this is totally going to be a cool party. <laughs> oh, remember when Elizabeth had that fake eyeball with the formal and pretended her <laughs> eye had fallen out? God. She's awesome. Isn't that the same year she hit the dead rat in Billy Hershberger's locker and they had a police investigation over it? <laughs> no, 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 that's messed up. <laughs> Do you guys know where Bob and Margaret are? Their, their car's here. Mm -hmm. I get out, I don't know. What am I, their babysitter? <laughs> well, I just thought it was weird that, you know, their car's outside and we haven't seen them all night. That's... That's bad. You brainiac, you think too much. What? You pick on them too much, Scott, okay? Okay, boys, make nice. Jack, you can take off your Superman costume now. Anyways, Brad's a quantum mechanics major. He's gonna be the next Stephen King. That's Stephen Hawking, Marie. <laughs> One more of these and it'll be Bozo the Clown. Meanwhile, Jackie here is gonna be a TV repairman. That's applied sciences, okay? And don't call me Jackie. I really, truly hate being called Jackie. <laughs> you know what your problem is? Lack of sex. What? Honey, we have to get Jack a woman. He might explode if we don't. Why are you guys picking on me? Pick on Brad or something. He's right, man. It ain't fine wine, Jack. It doesn't improve with age. You gotta use it or lose it. Don't look at me. I gave up dating for my work. What does she know anyway? I'll have you know I just aced my term paper. No shit, what's it on? Hand in this through the ages. Real mystical type stuff. Handedness. What's handedness? Well, it's uh, not a football term. <laughs> <laughs> it refers to the left hand and all the superstition that surrounds it. Many cultures believe that the left hand is a symbol of evil and that left-handed people are servants of the devil. That kind of thing. It sounds pretty messed up to me. Hey, I didn't make this up. I mean, my dissertation focuses on the fact that the myth of Hanan is started because left-handed people are so rare. Ancient cultures glommed onto anything out of the norm and made it quote-unquote evil, you know. So, I'm a bad guy just because I'm a Southpaw. Mm, let's hope. Hey, and speaking of kooky magic stuff. Oh, our lovely hostess. Woo! Oh, you go, girl. Whoa. Whoa, is this a costume party or what? No, I just threw this old thing on. But I'm sure you'll discover that it sort of fits the theme of my little party. Theme? Well, first of all, kids, I have to thank you for coming out tonight. As I explained to you all when I passed out the invites, tonight's a very special night of the year for me, and I really wanted to celebrate it with my friends. So, without further delay, let's rock. Whoa, shit! Look, it's like a Dio live evil poster. Far fucking out. Wow, a pentagram, as in protects you from evil type pentagram, or what? Well, that depends, Janet. Do you believe in evil spirits? Well, I believe in all kinds of cookie shit. Speaking of that, so do you mind if I party? By all means. All right. Tony? No, no, it's just, you know, just for use of tobacco products only. What? You don't party with tobacco, you lying little stooge? Doesn't look like I'm gonna party at all tonight. Since mom's here, fathers, lock up your daughters, because old Scott Meredith's got an alcohol-related death wish tonight. <sighs> Honey, I thought we weren't gonna drink any hard stuff tonight. I mean, Jack's got Janet, Tony and Brad, so you're gonna be the one who's gonna be able to drive you and me out of here tonight. Huh? I can always take a cab. Remember that slugger? Is there a problem? No. No problem. Hey, Elizabeth, I don't mean to be picky, but the folks need to hire a maid or something. Okay, you definitely have issues, babe. Confectioner's sugar, with a little bit of baking soda added for good measure. I worked at this haunted house last Halloween. We used the same thing. And Trey elaborate, I'm impressed. So, wow, you put all these cobwebs and stuff out here just for the party? As I told you, it's the theme. 
And what's the theme? I'm psychotic, and I wish it was Halloween again. Just knock it off, Maria. Look, I know okay. some of you have your reservations about me. Well, I... I totally understand, Maria. It's all right. Let's get the mood going. So, you're this physics major, huh? That's my curse, I guess. Well, do you think maybe later on you can look at my guitar? I mean, the axe is totally fried on it. I don't know that much about musical instruments. Well, shit, that's OK. I mean, you look like a fairly smart guy and all. Thanks. No problem. You party man? Uh, no. You know that doesn't work anymore. What doesn't work? That whole just say no to drugs crap. Look, it's been tried, and I'm here to say it doesn't work. So go ahead. I just don't get into it personally, but All thanks right, for the man. offer. All right, that's cool, you know. Once my friend Skeeter, he wanted me to huff some gold paint out of a baggie. I was like, no way, dude, because that stuff's totally bogus. Good. At least you didn't do it. <laughs> no, no, don't get me wrong, man. Of course I still did it, but I was right. The stuff was so bogus, man. <laughs> yeah, that... I'll bet. Guys. You had to tell him that stupid gold paint story. What's wrong what? with you? Late arrival. Please excuse me while I answer the door, won't you? You mean more people are actually going to show up to this thing? Oh, I hope it's a pizza guy. I'm hungry. What? You know what? You're flirting with her, aren't you? I think you're just being paranoid again. Look, you flirted with other girls before, and I'm cool with it. I mean, I know I'm the one you're leaving with at the end of the night, and no harm done. But this is different. I mean, I'm not flirting, OK? Can you just chill out for a minute or two and have fun? Have a drink. You always have fun when you drink. I think you like her. This is a big place. Why don't we go upstairs? And I'll show you how much I would rather have you than her, OK? OK. This place is really creepy, Scott. You know, Brad got me thinking back there. I wonder where Bob and Margaret are. <laughs> maybe we'll bump into them in one of those spare bedrooms. Jesus, maybe I should mention something to Elizabeth about it. Can her name not edge its way into everything that comes out of your mouth? Sorry. It's OK. And I'm really sorry about everything that went down tonight. I mean, I like Elizabeth a lot. It's just that sometimes I get a vibe from her, like she's watching you. So I guess I get jealous. Hey, I'll admit, she's a little out of the norm. <laughs> She seems really friendly, and she's been nothing but nice to all of us tonight, so I think you ought to cut her a little slack. Listen, Scott, I never got to tell you all this stuff about this old house, what the kids used to say about it. Yeah? It's haunted. <laughs> no wonder you're all freaked out about being here. I mean, think about it. It's been building up in your mind for years. You just wound up convincing yourself of it. It's not funny, Scott. Too many people talk about this place for there not to be something to it. It's in your head, sweetheart. That's all. Yeah? Yeah. You just need someone to distract you from it for a little while. Can you believe this stuff? I mean, come on, it's not Halloween. What do you say? We just find ourselves a room. Right. <laughs> Wonder what this means. Spells out Necronomicon. See? <laughs> I'm kidding. I have no goddamn idea what it says. Maybe it's in French. 
Well, this part says Le Fay. That much I can actually read. What do you think it is? I don't know. It's too old to be a photo album, I'm guessing. I'm serious. I don't know. Why don't you ask our hostess with the mostess when she moves us back in here? I just grab my axe. Everybody, I would like to introduce my friend Jennifer to our little gathering. Jennifer, this is everybody. Feel free to make yourself at home. We were just getting started, actually, when you showed up. Hey, Brad Payton. Hi. Hey, you smoke? It's good stuff. Put it in my closet. Wow. Jennifer? Jennifer Bainbridge. You and I had progressive psych together last year, remember? I had to add out my humanities credit. Don't ask why. There you were. Yes, uh, Jack Smith. You sat in the back row. Wow. Yeah, that's right. I, I, I remember when you'd come in and you'd just gotten those glasses and, and, uh, you know what? I'm gonna shut up now before I make any bigger an idiot out of myself than I already have. Don't worry, you're doing fine. Thanks. Where did Scott and Maria go? Probably a good idea if you don't ask. Okay, everybody, I'd like to get this thing going. I think we should all sit around the pentagram. What for? I have a method to my madness, trust me. What about the other guests you invited? What if they show up? Then they show up. Anyway, the sun has officially gone down and I want to start my May Day celebration. Who would like to join me? I'll do it. What the hell? Dude, you gotta sit next to the little woman, man. Don't you know anything? Okay, Tony, we're not in high school anymore. Can we put down the bong for a second and relate to that concept? Thanks, a bunch. That's okay, Jack. You can sit next to me if you want. I don't mind. Hi. Hi, yourself. You're not joining us? You know what? I, I think I'm just going to stand over here and, and watch. Seances aren't my thing. Well, it's not exactly a seance, but feel free to do whatever you wish. Okay. Maybe I'll sit in. Hey, I got this great party game we can all play since we're all sitting in the circle. You dudes ever hear of suck and blow? I have something else in mind. If this has anything to do with eating a human heart, I'm out of here. I want to tell you what this night truly means to me. But before I do, I want us all to join hands. Oh, I don't know if I'm into that love-in concept. Oh, it's nothing like that. It's just important to be as close together as possible to form a circle. It's all part of May Day. What is May Day, anyway? I've never heard of it. Then, I guess I don't get out much. It's some wicked thing. We should sit on this stuff or check it out down at the museum. I like it. I'm afraid it predates most religions. In early times, some people believed that this day was the one day of the year when the moon's full and the position of the stars came down to Earth in a sort of perfect focus point. A point that allowed terrible cataclysm and havoc to be unleashed upon mankind. They say Pompeii was buried under ash after a particularly powerful May Day, the Black Plague, the day the atomic bomb was conceived. And if you are a practitioner of the black arts, well, it was a day of great tribute, a day to commune with the dark one. Why would anybody want to celebrate that? For the same reason people celebrate Halloween. If people put on masks and carve out jack-o'-lanterns and ask for candy, it wards off the darker connotation. 
that Halloween was once the day people locked their doors and hid from the evil spirits and demons that roamed the earth. Well, at least this place has its own bath. <laughs> really? Does it have running water or just a big old chamber pot? It's got its own shower, too. <laughs> now that we are all part of a circle, a sacred circle, I might add, since we are all seated around an ancient and powerful symbol, it is time for a story. Though it took place centuries ago, it is my story, too. Its repercussions have reached down through the years, through the bloodline of the Lefay family, and even now touch me. Tonight marks the 300th anniversary of my ancestor's death. Her name was Lilith. Named after the first woman, the true first woman who God cast out of the Garden of Eden as an abomination before he created Eve. Lilith Lefay. She came across the Atlantic when she was a child and lived in this house until the night she died, when she was just a little older than I am now. So, what do we do? I think we can come up with something if we put our minds to it. It could be a long night. And how long is long? Very. Well, if that's the case, I think I might have an idea or two. Such as? She grew up in the company of her parents, who both believed themselves to be powerful sorcerers. They instructed her in the ways of black magic or speaking to the dark worlds that lay beyond our own. And it is said that she became a favorite daughter of the Dark Ones and was more powerful than her mother and father could ever imagine. The older Lilith became, the more uncontrollable she became. Her behavior was wanton even by the standards her own family lived by. Soon she was beyond obeying the rules of anyone and engaged in all manner of what was considered forbidden practices. Illicit sex, drinking alcohol, dancing in graveyards on moonlit nights, blasphemy. And she dared to look in her father's grimoire, which, according to the family legend, was one of the most powerful tomes on the planet. Her father tried to punish her for her indiscretions, but Lilith was too strong. And the only master she listened to now were the voices of the Dark Ones, the ones who gave her power. And one night, so they say, Lilith's parents were suddenly and inexplicably dead. They say Lilith may have killed them, but so many things have been attributed to her that the death of her family members simply passed on into myth. She abducted a child from Dunwich in the dead of night on May Day, 1698. The Dark Ones told her that a sacrifice must be made, the heart of a true innocent. And she took the child here, to this house, with the intention of cutting out his heart in an elaborate ceremony. Oh, man. Is the kid gonna be all right? The child was never harmed, for you see, the town elders sent forth a tribunal of witch hunters moments after Lilith kidnapped him. They arrived shortly before the sacrifice was to take place. The power that was promised to Lilith never came. For you see, there was only one form of punishment regarding the crime of witchcraft. She was burned at the stake. Where am I? 
Silence, witch. Scott, what's going on here? Thou hast been accused of the crime of witchcraft. I'm me, I'm Brad Payton, you guys know me. Stop this. For the crimes of witchcraft, murder, and thy unholy alliance with the one I call Legion, we, the goodly servants of the Lord, the elders of the township of Dunwich, sentence thee, Lilith of Fay, to be burned at the stake and condemned to eternal damnation. Eternity. It's a real bitch. Somebody wake me up! Don't let them burn me. Whoa, dude. I saw. Jesus, what happened, Brad? It was so real. I was there. When they were burning Lilith, it was me. It was... I felt the fire burning me. You must have fallen asleep during the story, that's all. You never left the room. It was probably just a bad dream. I've never had a dream like this before. That's all it was, I swear. Well, um, I certainly won't stop anybody if anyone would like to leave. It's not your fault. I guess I just got spooked out by the whole thing. Maybe I should go home. Well, the phone is upstairs, so I'll just go and call you a cab. That way everybody else can stick around and party. Might be a few minutes, though. Could you? I'm sorry about the way that I acted. You must have had a bad trip, man. I have them all the time. I'm really glad we came up here, Scott. I think we really needed it. At least one of us got comfortable. It's a strange way to finally meet someone, huh? Yeah, I feel like I'm 14 again. We're all at summer camp telling ghost stories. Dude. I got booted out of summer camp. Cause see, they give us these pain pills if we like busted a leg or something. Only I kept busting my leg to get more pills and stuff. <laughs> Finally, the camp council said, you got a ghost son, you got a drug problem. So my folks threw me in drug rehab. That's my story. It's the end. <laughs> hey, don't look over here. I had boosted over Mercedes when I was 14 years old. Spent that whole summer in Drew Hall. Sucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> me and my big mouth. Hey, I really want to explore this place a little bit. Would you like to join me? Would I? I mean, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, whatever you want. Please, follow me. I'll tell you what, Slugger. While you sleep it off, I'm gonna hop in the shower. Deal? Deal. Guys, Elizabeth, Scotty, anyone. I'm digging the torture dungeon vibe in here. <laughs> you know, they say the original LaFay family had this mansion shipped brick by brick, slab by stone slab to Massachusetts from their state in France. Back in the early 1600s. Oh, shit. Why would they want to do something like that? Well, I suspect Elizabeth's ancestors came to the New World for the same reason the pilgrims did, to escape religious persecution. So they were Puritans? Uh, not exactly. More like Satanists. Great. Elizabeth? Is that you? What other stuff did she tell you? 
Well, okay, like the LaFay family has always had this sort of stigma of witchcraft and evil attached to it. Yeah, everybody around here knows that. But nobody thinks Elizabeth's a witch or anything. At least I don't. Remember Morgan LaFay? King Arthur's legend? That's what I'm talking about. You guys down there? Tell me what you're thinking about. No, I'm just looking around. It's a nice place. What's your take on the whole witchcraft thing? <laughs> you're asking the wrong guy. I'm about as sickeningly normal as it gets. The only thing I know about witches is that they wear those weird pointy hats and ride around on broomsticks. Yeah, but I bet you have a dark side. We all do. Well, I'm an applied sciences major. How's that? How does that fit into the witchcraft equation? Probably not very well. However, I can tell you that the LaFays have messed up the wiring. The wiring? You see up here? You can find that kind of house wiring in old English castles and stuff. They can't drill through the rock walls because of the maintenance problems it causes, so they just uh, string it along, exposed on the walls and cracks and stuff like in here. But you get a whole different set of problems doing it this way. Rock walls tend to get damp, short out the exposed transformers all the time. I did an analysis on it back in... That's um, pretty fascinating stuff, Jack. Really. You had to talk about the wiring, didn't you? I call upon the forces higher than I to release the energy that is held inside. I call upon thee, I call upon thee, I invoke thee, my angels and demons, my gods and devils, my divine goddess and dark lord. I call upon the ancestors that watch over me, protect me, enfold me, guide and shape my destiny. I was hoping I'd find me a copy of As You Like It in here. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, what girl could live without her very own copy of The Complete Predictions of Nostradamus? <laughs> Holy cow. This looks like that book Elizabeth had back in the den. There's gotta be dozens of them in here. You know, it's not so strange. I think I've heard of something like this before where families keep multiple copies of the family Bible around. You know, like one for each member of the family. It's, it's sort of like a dowry. What are you doing? Well, right before you showed up, I was kind of looking through the one in the den. Kind of got my interest. And I think it'd be kind of neat to find out where someone like Elizabeth came from. I invoke the spirits of my dread clan by Cerebrus and Ball. I give thee this sacrifice, the blood of two innocents, for I am only your servant upon this earth, and ask of you for your love and the blessing of your power. Give me the power. Join us. Elizabeth, I, I... You're interrupting a family moment. Who are you?
I am your destiny, Brad Payton. I told your ancestors I would return. And I have. And I've waited oh so very long. For your kiss. Salisbury, Goodman Smith. So? So, all these guys have the same last names as us. Well, most of us. I mean, I, I don't see your last name listed on here anywhere. Maybe it's a coincidence. What does Goodman mean, anyway? Goodman? Well, Goodman was sort of like Mr. Back in the early 15, 1600s. Totally an Anglo endearment. It's basically a term of respect. I told you, I'm a history major. originally from Dunwich, or did you move here from someplace else? Well, I was born in Boston, but both my folks were originally from here. And then they moved back when I was about five. They liked the area. And you know what? I bet if you ask Scott, Janet, Maria, or anybody else, they'll tell you the same thing. You guys are direct descendants of these witch hunters. So, essentially what we're dealing with here is some really nice girl maybe a little on the spacey side, somebody we all like who, just out of the clear blue sky, decides to have a party 300 years after her ancestor dies and just happens to invite all the descendants of the guys who killed her. Essentially, yeah. Do you think she knew all this when she invited you guys here? Shit, of course she knew. I mean, I don't know how you guys wound up with an invite, but when she invited me, Scott, and Maria, she was very specific about who we were, made sure to mention our last names and everything, even though we've pretty much known her forever. You know, this could still be just a coincidence, or maybe it's part of her jokes. I mean, she's certainly got a twist in those sense of humor. Yeah, well, Goodman Bainbridge wasn't mentioned in that edict thingy we were reading earlier, so you're not part of this. Why were you invited? Like I said, coincidence. See, this is just too perfect to be some coincidence or accident. Maybe you got an invite just to throw the rest of us off the trail. And you know what? She could be up to anything. And I mean anything from surprise, the lights are all off, we could just stumble around in the dark in a big old spooky house pissing our pants right up to spiking the booze and pushing us off the roof. You know, where, where is Elizabeth anyway? Maybe we should just go find her. Are you sure you want to do that? I mean, what about everybody else? I just wanted to study for my applied sciences final. Sure didn't sound good, whatever it was. You gotta be kidding me. That's like the scream up a haunted house sounds volume one. Lame! Dude, dude, are you sure? That sounded like the real deal to me. 
Well, the only way it could have been real Tony if it's the frickin' cheerleader getting porked upstairs. And that one kind of sounded like she was faking it, huh? Well, ain't Maria's usual line like, tackle me cowboy when her and Scott are going at it? And that was not it. I ain't exactly keeping score here. All right, well, let's say it's not like two people having sex, then what? Well, gee, let's just say that that big plastic pirate skeleton out in the hallway isn't from Walmart either. Come on, Tony, it's all a big setup, don't you see? I know Elizabeth, and this is one of her not-so-funny jokes. You know what's gonna happen next? Somebody's gonna pop out with the boogeyman mask and yell, trick or treat. Did you wanna go home? Well, I'd rather stay with you, if that's okay. That's more than okay. You know, back in progressive side class, I, I catch you looking at me sometimes. Really? I mean, I, I never knew why you were doing it. I mean, I never actually thought you liked me or anything like that. Why not? I just don't think of myself like that. I'm not like most girls. I don't think I'm very attractive. Hey, look, I'm, I'm just some guy, okay? I'd be willing to bet there's a ton of guys out there who'd find you attractive. Well, where, where are you going? Well, it's been real, it's been fun, but it ain't been real fun, you know what I mean? I think it's time to let the air out of the shindig. What about Jack? Jack's probably gonna make it with Little Miss Wallflower tonight. Oh, Jack was all right out here tonight. We don't find him, we don't get home. Shit. Well, wh where do you think he is? I don't know, if he's smart, you probably got the room next to Scott and Maria. Dude, I'm serious. I don't know my way around Peepy Castle, do you? No? Well, we're just gonna have to walk around until we bump into Scott, Maria, Jack, somebody. Well, what about the names in that book, then? Old Lizzie gets a wild hair up her ass to invite the descendants of the guys that burnt up that ancestor of hers? Yeah, right. I mean, this whole thing sounds like a big load of crap to me. I mean, look how long it took her to put up Creepy Castle here. Think about it, Tony. She's got us all out here while her folks are off in Switzerland or whatever. And she's got this big plan to freak everybody out. Man, she's a real bitch. No, you're just a brain-dead drug addict who would fall for something like this. Witches. <laughs> Jesus. I ain't a drug addict. You should look at yourself sometime. <laughs> I can't see without my glasses. You have incredible eyes, Jennifer. Really? Goes with the rest of you. What? What? <laughs> what? I'm sorry, Jack. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a pretty cheesy line, you have to admit it. I never thought it was cheesy. Just a little bit. Well, what's a good line to use? How about... I like you, Jennifer. And I'd like to get to know you better. <laughs> and that one's not cheesy. It's Jennifer kiss me, Jack. That one's good. What happened to the lights? Uh, it looked like a power surge with the bulbs popping like that. An old house like this has really shitty wiring, probably an old kicker box from the 50s instead of a real transformer. Instead of blowing a fuse, the breaker probably kicked off. Great. Uh, you know, we should really find everybody and get out of here. I think this party died an unnatural death about an hour ago. Well, do you think everybody's okay? Well, yeah, you know, unless Tony finally went Section 8 and offed everybody with an Uzi, I don't see why not. What about that scream you just heard? I was just hoping that was me mistaking someone's bad singing for a blood-curdling shriek or something. Right, come on. What the hell happened to the power in this joint? Dude, I don't know. But this is the part of the movie where that crazy heel jack starts whacking up kids with an axe. Hands off, Tony. Uh, I'm afraid of the dark. It's not dark. Look, there's candles and stuff, see? Oh, yeah, that's a whole lot better. What I want to know is where's our football player pal and his girl toy? I'm for calling it a night and I ain't too keen on leaving anybody behind when I split. This so-called party is bad news. Dude, if Elizabeth called a taxi, then we should stay right here before it comes so everyone can hitch a ride out of here together, all right? Oh, here's a question. So where did Stephen Nix trail off after she left us in that room? And how long does it take to call a cab, anyway? It's a rhetorical question, goofball. 
I, I don't know what that means. It means just shut the hell up and follow me, all right? Scott? Maria? Jackie? Brad? Any fucking buddy? It's me, Janet. All right, fine. I'm coming in. Sorry for busting on you two like that, but Tony and I are gonna make like a baby and head out, so get your goddamn clothes on and we can all do it together. Come on, you two. I'm all about sex 24 hours a day, but now ain't the time and it sure the hell ain't the place. All right, fine. But we're coming back for you guys after we find the others. So, um, what exactly was going on in there? I mean, did you, uh... See anybody's breasts? What do I look like, penthouse forum? Just shut up and help me find Jack and Jennifer. There's gotta be someone in this place who ain't getting it on. Did everybody go home? I don't know. I thought the power was off. It is. Uh... Well, what do you need that for? I'm liking this less and less by the second. Yeah, well, maybe it's more of Elizabeth's quote-unquote jokes. Yeah. Ha-ha, <laughs> ha, this is a laugh riot. Janet! Uh, Tony! Uh, you guys! You know, I, I just keep getting this picture in my head that everybody's waiting behind a door or something, right? I mean, they're all gonna jump out and yell surprise, right? Yeah, well, I can tell you at this point, if they pull something like that on us, I'm gonna beat them to death with this. Janet. I mean, it's one of her jokes. It has to be. Yeah, well, this joke stuff is getting real old real goddamn quick. What are we gonna do, Jack? Um, we'll head into the foyer. If we don't run into anybody there, then I say we ditch these losers and go and catch the Late Show or something. That'll fix their asses. Ordinarily, I'd say it's pretty mean, but I think under the circumstances... Come on. I'm right behind Come on. You. in that room, so we're cool. I want to know what the hell's going on around here. Was that, that that thing that we just saw that little chick Elizabeth was talking about, or what? Well, what do you think? I don't know. No, 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 this, this, this ain't happening. Well, I definitely think we're dealing with something outside the goddamn norm. Did you see her face and hear that voice? This ain't no joke. That's a goddamn exorcist. What are, we, what are we gonna do about it, right? We don't we don't have any holy water or nothing. All right. I want you to go back there and get Scott and Maria. Now I'm gonna go downstairs and see if I can find anybody else. And after that, we're gonna vamoose. Any objections? I'll eat my way out of here if I have to. Hello? Anybody here? No need to shout. Jesus, don't do that. Whoa, Conan. It's okay. I'm not packing any heat. Sorry. I'm just a little edgy at the moment. 
What the hell happened to the power? I've been looking for a fuse box for like hours now. We, we thought you'd turn it off to scare everybody. I did all of this just to scare you guys? I'm twisted, but I'm not quite that twisted. Did you happen to see anybody else when you were walking around? Well, I think I saw Janet and Tony running around somewhere. Really? Well, uh, look, Elizabeth, I, I hate to do this, but I think it's time for us to split. Do you know where everybody is? Because we got a group together so everybody can get a ride home. Elizabeth? I have someone I want you to meet. What? Guys, meet Lilith Lefay. Remember, I was telling you about her earlier. Nobody is going to leave my little party. I'm your destiny. Your curse. Nobody leaves. You are all mine. Get away from me! Uh, <laughs> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. <laughs> My God is far older than yours, little boy. That won't help you for long, Jackie. You know that, don't you? I didn't know how to do that with the cross. I don't know. It seemed like the right thing. I was raised Catholic. What can I say? Okay, so what the hell do we do now? I'm thinking, uh, run. <laughs> Fucking terrific. What, was that a Halloween mask? Hey, yeah, trick or treat. I think that was the real deal, folks. No, it's nothing like that. It can't be. I mean, maybe there's a legitimate explanation for all this. I mean, maybe she got the whole place freaked like a haunted house or some shit, and she's just setting us up for something bad. We'll figure it out later. Come on, keep running. Run all you want, Jack Smith. But you won't get far. Because this is my house, and the doors won't open again until my family gets its revenge upon you all. Scotty, Maria, are you guys okay in there? Okay, dudes, I can dig it if you can. So I all want to do the marathon sexing. But it's real dark and scary out here, and there's this demon chick after us. And Janet wants us all to split, or she's going to kick my ass sideways. Oh, and I got to pee really bad, too. It's okay, Tony. We're getting dressed. Come right on in. Yo. Hey, dudes. You want a party? It is party time, Tony. Don't lose your head. Ah! Shit! What's happening? It's Elizabeth. This is thing. I mean, it, it just came out of her. It's Lilith Lefay. Like how? Who gives a shit like how? Just is. We gotta find the others and pull out of here. Look. Whatever this chick is or she ain't, she's one mean mother to just pop out at me and Tony like she just did. So we're going for the door and we're going now. And when we're about 90 miles away from this place, we can try to explain to the cops. No good. Elizabeth's down by the door right now. We gotta find another way out. Uh, how about a window? Also no good. This place is locked up like Fort Knox. It would take a Mack truck to get through those security bars. And did you think all the windows in the house are like that? With our luck, yeah. Oh, God, guys, this is really bleeding. <laughs> Got yourself a genuine battle scar there, Cinderella. It's not deep, though. It just looks bad. There has to be another way out of here. I mean, a, a back door, something. We don't know our way around this place. And I don't especially dig the concept of going around and trying to figure it out. Do you? How about a phone? I'm thinking no on that one. We'd have better luck finding a spaceship in this place. Maybe an attic window. I ain't leaving here without Tony. Party really go. 
Screwed. Well, if Elizabeth or Lilith or whatever left of our friends don't get us, and we'll just end up dying of starvation. Terrific. This place is like a lab. Yeah, or those wacko dungeons in the Frankenstein flicks. I bet you this is where our buddy Liz comes after a hard day of yanking out people's hearts. <gasps> oh, man! <coughs> <coughs> must have gotten here first. And Brown must have found him. I'm not ending up like that. Maybe this is that book, the the one that Elizabeth was telling us about, the one that's like super evil or something. Uh, yeah, that's the one. What are you keeping it for? Aren't we in enough trouble? Look, maybe we can find out. Maybe it'll come in handy. Maybe we can use it against that witch bitch. <laughs> Don't, let's stay together. Sister, I think you got some serious fucking problems. Send me a tough guy. Even if we could get up there, there's no way I could climb down the side of the house like this. Jack, I'm worried about you. You're losing a lot of blood. Look, there's, there's only one way out of this mess. We have to kill Elizabeth. Well, that's easier said than done. I think having the lights on is like the least of our problems no, right now. No, I, I have a plan. Look, I need you to cut that wire, but make sure it stays connected to the box. Uh, here, grab that sword. Grab it. Good. Right at the bottom. Applied. Science is major, right? So now it's time to apply some science to the situation. Okay. I need you to go over to the kicker box. Go. Now when I say win, you pull down on the switch. Dick, I still really am. Just trust me. When I tell you to, just pull down on that switch. Okay. Elizabeth? You around here anywhere? You and Lilith might want to come and check this out. Be 
careful what you ask for. You just might get it. Not so fast. You come any closer and I'm gonna burn this little book of yours. It would be a real bitch if you came back from the dead and you couldn't take over the world because someone burnt your fucking instruction manual, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, little Jackie. I would certainly save you for last. That is most of you, anyway. You can have forever, Jackie boy, but I'm afraid you just don't understand. I've been doing this hundreds of years before you were ever born. <laughs> and I will have what is mine. Jackie, you ugly bitch! No! You killed her. Again. But it doesn't matter, you guys. She's still gonna have her revenge through me. Don't you know who I am, Elizabeth? See, I had an ancestor too in Dunwich. Remember the child who must got sacrificed 300 years ago by Lilith? I'm his descendant. You? No more sacrifices, Elizabeth. Like your family's so fond of saying, we pay for the past. Well, so do you. Cops. I mean, all our friends are dead, and we almost got killed because our parents were witch hunters. I think we can finally put the past to rest. And what about us? I mean, because. Of... Well, I. Just shut up and kiss me, Jack. 